Hi boys and girls, welcome to class. Today is Monday, May 11, 2020. Last week, we focused on adding one letter sound to make a new word. This week in phonics, we're going to add two letter sounds to make a new word. I have two examples for you. Here we have the word am. So let's add a er or a r. Now we have the word ram. But if we add a p, 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 p at the end of the word, we now have the word ram. Okay. And our second example is the word an. Okay, so if we add a ha ha h in the beginning of an, we have han, but we want to make the word hand, so we added a d d d. D at the end. Okay, so this is going to be our focus this week. I wanted to introduce to you the lesson of the week for phonics. And now we're going to move along to reading. So in reading, today, you guessed it, is Monday. So I have a great mystery reader for you today. He or she will be, was very, very, very happy to be reading for you today. So I really do hope that you enjoy. Hello, Kinders. I am your mystery reader today. I am going to reveal a few clues about myself. See if you can figure out who I am. Number one, I have two children of my own as well as two very big dogs. Number two, I was once a kinder teacher. Number three, at school you can find me in the building, but you can also find me at the playground. See if you can figure out who I am. Today I will be reading one of my favorite books. I love this book because it's full of fun and silly rhymes. It is titled there's a walk it in my pocket by Dr. Seuss. Do you ever have the feeling there's a wasket in your basket? Or a neuro in your bureau? Or a wasset in your closet? Sometimes I feel quite certain there's a curtain in the curtain. Sometimes I have the feeling there's a slock behind the clock. And that self up on that shelf, I have talked to him myself. That's the kind of house I live in. There's a ink in the sink and a zamp in the lamp and they're rather nice, I think. Some of them are very friendly, like the yacht in the pot, but that yattle in the bottle, some are friendly, some are not. I like the zabel on the table and the gear under the chair, but the bofa on the sofa, well, I wish he wasn't there. All those nut boards in the cupboards, they're good fun to have about. But the toothbrush on my toothbrush, him, I could do without. The only one I'm really scared of is that bug under the rug. And the 
Quimney up the chimney. I don't like him, not at all. And it makes me sort of nervous when the zell scoots down the hall. But the yips on the steps, they're great fun to have around. And so are the many, many other friends that I have found. Like the teller and the neller and the geller and the deller and the beller and the weller and the zeller in the cellar. And the gilling on the ceiling and the zower in my shower and the zillow on my pillow. I don't care if you believe it, that's the kind of house I live in, and I hope we never leave it. Hi boys and girls, were you able to figure out that I was your mystery reader? I just want to let you know I missed you all so much. I hope that we can see each other soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye bye. I was very happy to see Miss Gill, and I know that you were ha as happy as I was. So you have to make sure that you thank her when you see her again, okay? All right, you can take a break before we start math. So if you wanna go ahead and pause now, and when you resume the video, it will be time for math. Welcome to math. We're going to but continue our lesson with coins. I know that um, I had thought that we would move on, but I decided that we could use a few more lessons. And actually, I, f I found these activities that we hadn't gotten into, and I, I really think that you'll enjoy them, and they're important um, when it comes to learning about coins. Okay? So... As you can tell, we're missing something in this activity. So this week, the activities will be opposite of what we have done, okay? So right here, we have the given value. Instead of coins, they give us the value. So here we have eight, the value is eight. Here, the value is 12, and here, the value is seven. Okay, so the directions tell us to draw the coins to match the given value. So like I said, the given value is already there for us. So how would you make eight cents? Let me model it for you. I would first put a nickel, which is five cents. So how many pennies do you need after that to make eight? If you said three, you were correct. Okay, so that is how I would make eight cents. Now, if you want to add just pennies, that's fine too. It doesn't say that you can't do that. Okay, but I decided to show you a different way because, as you can see, there's only four coins on there, but because a nickel is worth five, I, I didn't need eight coins to make eight cents. Okay, so our next one is 12 cents. How would you make 12 cents? You could put 12 pennies on there. But let me show you how I would make 12 cents. I would put a dime, which is worth 10 cents, 11, and 12. So that is how I would make 12 cents. And the last example that I'm gonna model for you is how to make seven cents. You could put seven pennies, but this is how I would make seven cents. 
five, a nickel, six, seven. Okay, and that is our math lesson for the day. And actually that wraps up our lesson for today. We're gonna be doing something a little bit different for social studies and science because we finished the curriculum, but I'm putting some review stuff together. So we're gonna be doing it in doing a little bit um, of a different uh, social studies and science lesson. Okay, so that'll do it for today. Have a great day.